Well, you say that if the, if the hadith contradicts the Quran, we you don't, don't take reject it. it. We don't take it. So you pray five times or three times? Five. So does that contradict the Quran because the Quran says three times? Yeah, the Quran says three times. No, That's no, the other no. thing. They could, they could, yeah. Can evil exist on its own? Can evil exist on its own? Because I want to get into more metaphysical. Yeah. So, e so evil can't, why yeah, can't it exist? Does it have to be good for evil? Can, uh, does there have to be evil for there to be good? Right? If you guys be consistent, right, then you have to reject this book because you're going to send down incoherent things that make no sense, that don't benefit anybody. Our God has given human beings free will. Your God has said, you do not have free will, I will whoever I want to. So the person that Isaiah saw, was it the father or the son on the throne? I believe it was the son because the son is the image of the invisible God. So where's God. the father then? The, fa the father is the invisible God. But who is the one that's the on the throne? The father is the spirit. The father is the spirit. The father is the invisible God. The son is the one in the flesh. Who is on oh, the no, throne? Oh, no, no more than this. <laughs> <laughs> who did Isaiah see on the throne? Was it the son of God or was it the father? The, the, he saw the son of God. So, so where was the father? The father is the invisible God. He is everything. The father and the son are what? The father and the son are not one. That's the, they're not one person. You're confusing yeah, the thing, bro. Oh, dude, I can't. And Isaiah saw. He saw no, we don't need any more heretic hours here, bro. No, no, he I'm already dealing with one. Why is it confusing? It's confusing because you're, 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 you're. I don't know why. Because, because people make their own religion, innit? What? The message you came from the Lord is straight. Your now religion was great. Bro, why? Now it's your religion was great by a Bedouin. Why are you preaching? Your religion was great by a Bedouin. And by the way, I was talking to this guy. No one knows the right religion now, anyway. Yeah. You don't know, you say Walid, that Walid, you your, your religion was created by you a 7th century pedophile. Your religion was created by a 7th century pedophile. Please go away. You don't know what's right. Well, I'm calling your religion. I don't want to say to you to deal from hell. Alright, go away. I don't want to talk about Allah that Satan, bro. Go away. The man who's preaching Christianity is confused You are literally about a demon. And Allah was Satan. He doesn't know what's right, what's wrong. He got choked by a man in a cave. That's your Allah. No, 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 no. That's what you're saying. Literally. That's what you're saying. You're lying. You're prophet. You're prophet. You're not a liar. BDSM choked by a man in a cave. Dude that, was that, that's, great. That's a lie. That's a deception. That's a deception. Because you hate You've not, you not read your sources, have you? Sorry? Have you read your sources, Wally? I read fully. fully. By Arabic, so you fully. know what Sahil Bukhari is, do you? I, I know what Sahil Bukhari is. A so Sahil Bukhari says book. that your prophet was choked by Satan, bro. No. Liar. Literally. You're lying. They called him to bring him, but no, that was Satan, my guy. Let's show the evidence. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Do you want to talk about this or do you want to talk about this? Oh, you're going? Okay. Oh, right, right. Not so, and turn to Christ, man. Seriously. I received oh, stop. him, man. I received him. Stop being a Unitarian. Learn from it, bro. <laughs> anyway. right, so we wrap up with that one, then we do with this. Right, we wrap up with that. What, do you want me to talk to this guy? Yeah. Oh, this, this, guy, this guy is good. He wants evidence. He wants evidence. All this guy does is yell at people and swear at him. This guy was cussing my mum last change, week. Change, the guy's mad. Change, change, change. Give you evidence. I've got a lot of evidence. For what, for what, for what? He's talking about the Bukhari now, yeah? Yes. This guy is talking about the book. You want me to go to Bukhari? Bukhari is not a holy book. Bukhari is a book. Oh, man so it's not to so collect what the So you reject the Sunnah? Uh, uh, do you finish. reject the Sunnah? I need to finish. I need to finish. Do you reject the Sunnah? Don't tell me you need to finish. Do you reject the Sunnah? Let me finish. Let me finish. Oh, dude, man. Let this guy finish. Our holy book. Let this guy finish. Our holy book is that we, we are believing in everything we wrote inside it is Quran. Bukhari is the someone came after the Prophet with two, three hundred years. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus all what the Prophet said. Okay. Based there is it hard work for asking As the people who lived at the time. Yeah, so okay. you can find the stuff that it's completely 100% right in right. Bukhari. You can find the stuff that a little bit. But if you want to debate authentic? Muslim, debate the Quran. Is Sahih authentic? Does it mean authentic? Why are you leaving our Quran? Does Sahih mean authentic? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. so it does. So when your own sources, like Dura Salam, who's an Hadith grader, yeah. say that that Hadith that I'm speaking about is authentic, are you saying it's not Muslim? Are liars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to admit yeah. that? No. That's I'm that's saying, that's 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 saying that's 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 because we're all humans. But the fact is, but our holy tested, book is the Quran. It's authentic. So why are you running from the Quran in all the I'm time? I'm not running from the Quran. You never debated How is your Quran, Quran transmitted? So How is your Quran transmitted? Transmitted. Yeah. How is it transmitted? What is that? Passed on. How is yeah. it passed on? Orally. Okay. Orally. How? So Jesus people had to speak to other okay. people and how Jesus to know what the Bible? Quran said. So when he says that multiple man Jesus wrote the Hadith, Bible. he's got the same thing with his Quran. We might as well not believe his Quran. No, no. Okay, but how Jesus gets the Bible as well? Yes. How, how Jesus gets the Bible as well? Our prophet gets it by angel. You, we can understand that the system no, says Lord, you angel, assume humans. that your prophet got from angel. We're That's, not assuming. We have so where's that come that. from? Where's it come from? And our Quran. Does it say in the Quran? Does it say in the Quran that... Yeah, which means we send it to you. 
Well, hi, so, so, like, oh, Jimmy, where Angel, do you get the proof message? of that from? How can I know for a fact that the angel Jibril spoke to Muhammad in the cave? How can I know that for a fact? So you read the book, you read the Quran. And, Why? And, the, and, the, and who transmitted the Quran? Uh, the prophet to the people. So you, you're asking me, people. I told you who. So just like Sahih al-Bukhari, yeah? It was transmitted between people. Right? No. Just like that, the Quran was transmitted to people already. Yeah. No. So what we should we trust? Should we trust Sahih al Bukhari or the Quran? Or both of them are wrong? I actually asked the question. It hasn't been answered. So our Quran, the, the people who saved it by heart, right. these are the people who told the people to write it. But we took it from the Prophet, who took it from... The and same thing happened with Sahih al-Bukhari. Let me no, 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 no. Sahih al-Bukhari is something different. Sahih al-Bukhari is no. a man, is a religious no. man, who came after the Prophet died with 200 years. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know that. I and know that. he did his best yeah, to collect all what the Prophet said, yeah. asking the old people what they heard from his granddad. And by asking one and two and three, if they all could tell me that, that, not just that, if they all he collected bits of information from the Battle of your mama as how, well. How come you telling me also, about he my collected, he how collected come you telling me about read up on you your Quran, in, bro? You did you read the whole Quran. The fact is, you read the whole Quran. With, with Sahih Bukhari, what he collected, he, he collected the information from, from leaflets, from leaves, from bits of paper, from the memories of men. That's what the hadiths are saying. According to Sahih Bukhari, you're rejecting the Sunnah, bro, even though the Sunnah is the only place where you get your prayers. Where can you get your prayers Our from? book is Quran, and the, we challenge any non Muslim. Where can you get your Quran? five prayers from? Where's Quran? Sorry, and we order to pray in yeah, Quran. Yeah. Where can you get your five we prayers from? To, we order to pray in Quran. Where do you get your the five prayers from? In, Quran. in your Quran, where does it say pray five times a day? Where does it say that in your Quran? <laughs> Mention this word by Arabic means is make pray. Does it say pray, pray five, five times? Pray. Does it say five times? Or, or just pray? That's in the hadith. It says in the hadith, pray, pray five times. It says you have to pray a certain way in hadith. Pray. The way you dress is in the hadith, it's not in the Quran. Listen, listen. We do hajj. Yeah, yeah. The way we do Hajj in 11 days is not mentioned in the Quran as well. But we learn right, so you need the Sunnah wait, wait, wait. to interpret your books then. But we learn it from who? We learn it that from our Prophet. Like when first time. How do you prophet, know you learned it from your prophet? First time the prophet ordered the people no, to pray. How do you know you learned it from people your prophet? People came from outside. How India do you Arabia. know you learned it from your prophet? And they came, because of the, the prophet Sahih Adib. Them how to pray. No, it's and how they found talking over me. Go because of your Sahih Adib, you know these things. You don't know them outside your Hadith. So you do need the Sahih Adib to interpret your Quran. We do you can't need go without it. Ah, yeah, he said yes. Listen, listen, listen. So. If, so you rejected what I'm saying now? You rejected what I'm saying now? We do, listen, let, 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 we need hadith, we need al-Bukhari. But when we read it, we need to compare it to the Quran. Right. Okay, okay. If what it says contradicts the Quran, we don't take it. You understand? Because our holy book is the Quran. Why are you leave it? Why are you scared from the Quran? I'm not scared of your Quran, mate. It's a book of lies. So Did you find a mistake? It. There's many mistakes One in the Quran. mistake. You want me to show you a few Quran mistakes? The Quran came for 1400 years. Spoke about the man so in the womb. The baby in the womb, how it's created. Yeah. Spoke about the stars and the science and so many evidence for 300 years. No one mistake. And the fact you're running always to Bukhari, you're scared from Quran. I'm you not running to Bukhari. I'm literally going to your Quran right Allah now. I don't know what Allah changed it. I literally have to go and get the source. He um, said sorry, if you can bring a book like this book, he, Allah challenged you. If you can bring yeah, a book I know like what that, it says. so this book is wrong. If you can't bring a book like this, he's basically challenging us. Yeah, he challenged like you. Here. Did you accept the challenge? You, every time you come here with hadith. Hadith from here, hadith from here. And the hadith is just stories. Yeah, I'm not going can be right, right, can be wrong. Oh, I'm going but that's not our Islam. Our Islam is Quran. Quran is our, is our law. So I'm going to prove that Allah and Satan are the same person. First of all. According to his Quran. Okay. No, I'm not even going to hadith. I'm going to go to the Quran to prove yeah, it. Yeah, bring it to the Quran. Okay. All right. So let me show you this. Well, you say that if the, if the hadith contradicts the Quran, we you don't, don't reject it. it. We don't take it. So you pray five times or three times? Five. So doesn't that contradict the Quran because the Quran says three times? Yeah, the Quran says three times. No, That's no, the other no, thing. No. They, they bring, contradict the Quran. Bring the three times in the Quran. There's nowhere in the Quran. Where bring the three times in the Quran. Yeah, there's nowhere. That's why I said. Bring That's why, bring oh, can you show me in the Quran? Bring you said three times in the Quran. Bring Wally, can you show me in the Quran where it says Bring He just said no, 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 three times. Time. Show me in the Quran where it says okay. pray five times a day. I will show you that after you prove you doesn't say that. Bring the evidence in what you said now or you just liar. You are lying. You are lying in Islam. This is Islam 101. Well, it is Islam 101. And I was going to show, I'm trying to show that Allah is Satan according to his own hadith. Say come on.
Well, if, if, you, if you know Arabic, you read Quran, you will find it that it's written. You can, there's nowhere it says pray five times a day. We order, to, we order to pray. Listen, listen, if you count them, you will know them. So we order to, 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 to pray right. when the sun rises and when the sun sets. So that, that's the Fajr and that's the Maghrib. That's right. the two. We order to, we order to look at Yeah, you're, you're, you're claiming these things, but you haven't been able to prove them. I can't, Show me that in the Quran. The Quran no, 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 no. That. Show me in the Quran exactly the where it says to what pray you just said. Which is in the middle of the day. And this is blessed to. To, um, so you can't show me in the Quran. Can't show me in the Quran. There is blessing to ha to keep this prayer all the time. Okay. So if you count all these prayers that Allah ordered us to pray, we're going to fight. Well, that, you've just given us. Three. Oh, well, well, I'm going to prove that Allah is saying now. Straight, okay, Mustafa, do your prayer. He's, he's shown free. Three, He's just given us three. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, just give give example. Three, no, no, no. I'm going to prove that Allah is saying now because finish. you're running from the topic. Let me finish. You're running. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let you finish. You're running from the topic. We ordered to pray Aisha before we sleep. This is number four. Does it say that in the Quran? Written in Quran. Does it say that in the Quran? In the Quran. So where does it say, you, the Quran where does it say you pay five times a day in the Quran? Where does it's it say not that? Mentioned that the five, five. So it's, it's not mentioned. It's mentioned no, no, in the no, hadith. No, no. We do listen. Le, le, le. We need hadith. We need the Bukhari. But when we read it, we need to compare it to the Quran. Right. Okay, if what it say contradicts the Quran, we don't take it. What is wrong with me going for the hadith? Sorry. What is wrong no, with me going for the hadith? What is wrong with me going to the hadith? If the Quran states things that are not okay. in the Quran and you believe them. This man says that Muslim people their belief is wrong. You need to find the wrong in our belief. Our belief is not the hadith. I literally just stated one Quran. of them. Islam According Quran. to your beliefs, right? You believe that you pray five times a day. Yeah. But your Quran doesn't say that it says free. Yeah. So prove no, no, to no. me prove in your to Quran me all the things prove that you believe three. right now. Prove, prove to, to me is three. Prove to me it's prove three. Prove to me your Quran that says prove to stop me your Quran that says bridge. pray five prove times a day. Three. If prove you cannot, three. then this conversation is gone. Just to make a claim this now conversation is gone. Three. I don't know why I'm speaking Can you gone. prove it? Prove to Can me. Can you prove it? Prove to me. No, you ask my question first. Prove to me that you pray five this times a day. This man is according to the Quran. You want to challenge this man? Challenge him with Quran. Prove to don't me him according to your Quran that you pray five times a day. And if you can't prove it, then I suggest you don't believe this guy because this guy knows nothing. He doesn't know his Quran. Who's going to defend the Quran? Rafi, Rafi, how many Who's Bibles next? Bibles Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? How many Bibles? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? I'm going to show you from your Quran where, that Allah is saying. I'm going to. Well, you can't show it. You can't show it. You can't show it. We're still waiting. We're still waiting. You can't show it. I'm looking. And I can prove that Allah is Satan right now. Prove it. You just prove that Allah is Satan. So what Allah says this. This is what Allah says. No soul can believe but by the will of Allah. So that's what that's what Allah says. He says that no soul can believe but by the will of Allah. It's no soul can believe that, unless they believe. But how can they believe if no soul wills it? Because Allah, because if, Allah, if, Allah Allah will it. if Allah doesn't will it, how can they believe it? That's a contradiction. How can they believe that's if, no, if no, Allah doesn't will it? That's, that's, that's what you're trying to say. Okay, can I, can I respond to you? Yeah? Go on. So, every Allah, Allah is guides the good people to his religion. So if you have, if you're looking for the real, the real religion, if you're a good man, good with poor, good with, good with everyone around you, Allah will guide you to the right path. Yes, he choose. What's wrong with that? The problem is Allah is saying no soul can believe by the will of Allah, no soul right? Can believe. And he will place doubt. He will place doubt what, on those what, what who do not understand. But about, how can they not understand about? if Allah has willed that they will not understand? Well, like, that I, makes no sense. As I don't understand this English, that makes no sense. The Arabic. Uh, no, you've been saying boo 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 the last 25 minutes. I, I need, you need to learn speak English. I need the Quran. I need the Quran. Just need to read it. That's it. I read it. I read it. What verse is it? So it's turn 100. Let me read. Let me read. No, no, no. I just got the. About the five prayers, the door is that in the Quran? Yeah, this all is right. all evidence from the Quran. The door, what's the citation? What's the oh, citation? Can you show one, me the citation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're gonna have to look the actual citation. Oh, right, I'll, I'll, right. I've the got dawn a Quran prayer here. is mentioned by name 2458 before sunrise. The noon prayer is specified 1778 before the sun declines. The afternoon prayer is in 2238 midway between noon and sunset. The sunset prayer is mentioned 11. 114 immedi immediately after sunset. The night prayer is in. So can you show? Can, can you actually show me the, the actual verses? Because I want to see the verses. What you've numbers. done is quote mine. That doesn't yeah, mean yeah. anything. Because yeah, my, my right. question yeah, was, my question was, show me the five prayers in the Quran. That was my question. So we have to pray five prayers. My question was, show me where to pray five prayers in the Quran. So show me, show me the actual verses. Well, you don't even know what you're talking about. Type in the numbers. Show me, show me the numbers. Show me the numbers. So what's that one? First number, twenty-four fifty-eight. Twenty-four fifty-eight. What, what you've just established here.
Oh yeah, bye Walu. Bye bye. Oh ye who believe. So that, by the way, that's out of context. But oh ye who believe, let those whom your right hands possess and the children among you, so those are slave women, among you, who have not come of age, ask for your permission before they come to your presence. On three occasions, before morning prayer, he, the, the while, sorry, the while you doff your clothes for that noonday heat. Yeah, so it and mentions after, before the morning prayer. So there's a morning prayer. So yeah, yeah there's a morning prayer according now to this. Now according let's go to, to the afternoon prayer. All right, let's go to the afternoon prayer. I just want to make, just want to make it clear. What's that verse? Sorry. 1778. Alright. Yeah, yeah, he walked off. He walked off, bro. 1748. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm Muslim. Yeah, yeah, he's a Muslim. Well, it'd be a bit weird if he wasn't. He's just defending this one. <laughs> 1870. Establish worship that going down of the. That Establish regular pairs at the sun's decline. So it says establish regular pairs at the sun's decline. Till the darkness of the night. And the morning prayer in the, and reading for the prayer and reading in the morning. That, right, so that's just the same thing. Uh, no, no, no. That, no, no, that but here's the thing. You brought me two night. things that are saying the same thing. No, one no, of them no, saying, no. that verse one you just brought, this time, is what I'm saying. Of them says one of, no, no, one of them says one, the morning prayer, one of them says the night prayer, right? Yeah. Are you now getting what I'm saying? Now let's go to the next one. But what, you, what you've shown prayer. me is the dawn prayer and the noon prayer, right? That doesn't say dawn here. It doesn't say dawn here. Before the sun rises. What's before the sun rises? Dawn. Right, but what's before the sun rises as well? Morning. Dawn. Before that is night. There's okay, a so, night so, prayer. So, so, there's, a so night there's, prayer. No, there's a noon prayer and this says a morning prayer, right? This is what the verse right, says. A morning prayer. Right, Establish a morning the... prayer in the morning before dark. That's what it says. Yeah. What, on this one? 1778. At the going down of the sun yeah. until the dark of night. Right. So that's, that's in the morning because the dark of the night is later, isn't it? That's what it says. Establish uh, regular prayers at the sun's decline until the dark of all night. So basically, at the sun's yes. decline. So the sun's when decline. The sun, goes down. the sun goes down after morning. So I was right. It is a morning prayer. So you've just lied there. Huh? Yes, because the sun declines after mor uh, after Establish morning. Establish worship at the going down of the sun until the, the day of the, until the dark of the night. So that's dawn and nighttime prayers mentioned there. Yeah, but uh, the fact is, it is not mentioned. You've just mentioned that saying before the sun goes down. But it's just saying, no, no, but this is, is saying. It's specifically said twice in there. Yeah, but this is not saying the... dawn. This is not saying dawn. This is not saying dawn. This is saying in the morning. And I've already, so agreed, morning, I've already yeah. agreed with you that there's three pairs in the Quran. So there's the morning prayer, there's the, there's the, there's the afternoon prayer according to the Quran, and there's the midnight prayer. I've agreed with you, but there isn't five prayers. So I'll go to the other one because that one I don't think is Afternoon prayer, 2238. 2238, I think I've read that already. Okay, so be guarded, so this is what it says, and this is this is Pickford's version. There's obviously other versions of the Quran. Be, go be guardians of your prayers and of the midmost prayer and stand up with devotion to Allah. So it's not even mentioning a midday. It's not even mentioning a midday. Midmost prayer. When is the high of the high But we've, we've just found out that, the, that this that the last verse you showed okay, me wasn't a dawn, it was the morning. No, no, no. And, and I've, I told you the that there are three pairs in Islam. There's the, there's, the mid, there's the morning prayer, there's the evening prayer, and there's the afternoon prayer. And I can agree with that. But as for the five prayers, it doesn't uh, say well, that. So you're saying there's no sunset prayer? Then. There's no sunset prayer. Uh, well, let's go, let's, let's go to this one. Oh, no, no, no. no, no, no. Sunset prayer. So, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, so that's evening prayer then, isn't it? 1148. What is it? 1148? Uh, 1114. And if they answer not your prayer, then know that is revealed only in the knowledge of him, Allah, and that there is no Allah save him. Will you then be of those who surrender? So it's not even mentioned in that. Yeah, this is 1114. It's not even mentioned. No, I, I agree no, no, no. there's three prayers. That's 1114, 11114. You said 1114 today? Yeah, yeah, yes I are. Okay. So this is an established worship at the two ends of the day. And in some watches of the night, no good deeds and no ill deeds. This is a reminder for the mindful. So it's saying established worship at the two ends of the day. That's what it's saying. That's what Pixel is saying anyway. There's obviously two versions of it. Yeah. And you can ask me pairs of worship, but that just, that just agrees with what I, I believe. Because as the Quran states, you pray three times a day. Once in the evening, once in the afternoon, and once at night. If that's, this that's is not, a, that's no, not it says two ends of the day. Yeah, what's the two the, ends of the day? Uh, the morning and the evening. Yeah. I don't and, know then, and then the other one was two ends of the night in a sense. Like, wait, is it the second one I, uh, I was doing? It said 
something before dawn and you was like, that could be the morning prayer. No, 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 it, it said before the sun goes down. You haven't said before dawn. You said it before dawn. It says before the sun goes down, then you pray. Wait, man, the sun goes down in the at after morning, doesn't it? Ends. Yeah, at two ends. At the two morning, ends. And then it's the evening, so you now, pray before the sun goes down and you pray at night. Obviously, when those the sun's are two, up at two points and when the no. sun's down at two points. No, not at two points. It doesn't say at two points. Well, you, how you're praying is this. You're praying in the evening and, and you're praying in the morning, the evening and the midday. What it's stating is that in the morning you pray and, and then in the evening, in, in the middle of the afternoon, that's when you pray because I said midday. Right? You agree to that. And in the afternoon you pray. No, none of them are saying before dawn or anything like that. That's not saying in translation. No, no, before sunrise, the first one I said, before sun has risen. So. No, it says morning there. That, we would agree it says morning. Yeah, but morning could be a, there's many different translations that you said. So it's like. Uh, we're, but we're not, but you and I both, you're not Arabic, I'm not Arabic, so we're not going to get into yeah, I know, but it's the most logical translation. If you go by logic, what follows the most logical Not necessarily, no, because if I state something in the morning, there is only one idea of what morning is in any context. Unless says. morning is used in many different contexts. Morning could mean. Yeah, I, I could say good morning before the sun yeah. rises, but that's just speculation. No, 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 but in our language, morning is just morning. But that's not your morning. That's not your language. First, no, no, secondly, I'm you don't know that language. In English, in English, yeah, yeah, morning, yeah. morning is morning. just morning. Yeah, but in that language. But what I'm saying is, in that verse you showed me, it wasn't descriptive whether the sun had risen or not. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say whether the sun had risen or not. It just says in the morning. So yeah, you should do morning prayers. You should do in, in the afternoon prayers, and you should do evening prayers. That's all you've shown me so far. Did it not say Please. before the sun had risen? It doesn't say before the sun went down. It said before the sun went down. That's what it said. That's what it said. I'll show you again. That's what yeah, it said. Let's go, let's go to it again. I think it was the, the second one. The second one? I think so. Because you showed me the first one. The first one was the morning. Right? Yeah, yeah. The first one was right before the sun rises. The second one was before the sun declined. All right, so I need to see that again. So that's 24, 48. So we have to go through it. No, 58, 58. 58? Yeah, yeah. Oh, ye who believe, let those whom your right hands possess and the children among you. The good. Sorry. Do you see yeah. the difference? And the children among you, you who have not come of age ask so your permission faith, before they come to your presence. On three occasions, before the morning prayer. So it doesn't say pray before the morning prayer, it says before the morning prayer. The while you doff your clothes for the noonday heat and after the late night of the late night prayer. These are your three times of undress. So that's talking about undress, not talking about prayer. Well, let me just stop you there. We have agreed that there's a prayer at when the sun rises and when the sun sets. Yeah. We have agreed that there's a prayer at midday. Yeah. Now we have an agreement that there's a prayer at night. That's four prayers. No, not necessarily. No. Well, when the sun sets, it's night, isn't it? No. Yes, it is. That's what literally when the sun sets because it says two ends of the day. So the one end of the day is the morning. The one, the month, yeah, the one end of the day is the morning. The one, the other end of the day is the night. So that's two, that's two, that's two prayers so far. And the third one is the mid morning. But that, bro, I'm just telling you what your Quran is saying. I'm not saying. I'm telling you what the Quran is saying as well. You're not telling me what the Quran is saying. You're adding interpretation. But I want to go off of that anyway because it's a long thing at the end of the day. As far as I'm concerned, there is only three prayers. And and, and and do you do you reject hadith? Do you reject hadith? Yes, that would be unjust. I don't so take the hadith as the word of God. Okay, so you don't take it as the word of God. All right, fair enough, you don't take it as the word of God, but do you reject it? Do you think that we should just get rid of hadith? It's a bad one, it's not law. That's the way I see it, it's like... So um, according to your tradition, if you went to a Muslim in the mosque and said, I reject the sunnah, could you? In this day and age, no, because a lot of people ain't really that smart. People just follow tradition. Right, fair enough. That's, that's, the, that's the problem. Well, well, I, I would say is this, if you look in your Quran, yeah? There's this character tell, called Dul Karnay, right? Yeah, yeah. And he sees the sunset in a muddy pool of water. Uh, this is what the Quran says, right? Even though it's Allah's words, so Allah is seeing the sunset. That's in the, I mean, that's a bit weird. But who is Dul Karnay and where is the place where the sun sets? That's, 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 not, that's not a sufficient... I don't think it's literally a pool of water, but... It literally says, said, a pool of water or a lake where the sun sets. That's what it says. I'm not so do, do you know who Dul Karnayn is? Do you know who Dul Karnayn is? I've heard of the name, he's like a messenger or something so, like so, that. So how, if I wanted to know who Dul Karnayn is, how would I know, without, if, I, if I was just reading the Quran, how would I know that? You see, you need to 
need to listen more. That's what, what you don't realist. know. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know. That's what lead you have to because, you because, you because the fact is, Allah's word says in, in chapter two, verse two, that the Quran that that is a clear book. But that's not clear because there's this brother called Dukar name that nobody knows of who's just sitting there in a book. What's unclear about it? What's unclear is that who he is, why he's going to the place where the sun sets. Why? But if we don't need to know it, why has Allah put in his word? At what time would it be relevant for you for some guy called Dulkar name? Are we going to be honest? What, at what time? At what time? How are we God? How are we meant to know what time? But the God's words, your God's word says it's a clear book. It says it's clear. So that should be clear. Because there's another chapter. So I'll move on from that. There's another chapter in your Quran. That's the chapter. Uh, no, it's not chapter 10. It's, it's chapter 111 or 110. It says this, yeah? That Abu Lahab, la curse Abu, ha Abu Lahab. That's what it says. Curse Abu, Abu Lahab. Do you want me to read it out? I've never heard it, but yeah, go on. Okay. Words of your own Okay, so it says here, may the hands of Abu Lahab perish and him, he himself perish. He will burn in a flaming fire, right? And so will his wife, the carrier of food he killed kindling. Around her neck will be a rope of palm fiber. Who is Abu Lahab? That's the end of the story and the beginning of the story. Who is Abu Lahab? You don't know who Abu Lahab is. How can I know if I'm a reader of the Quran and a student of the Quran, how can I know what, what Abu Lahab is or who he is? It's relevant because your God says in chapter 2 verse 2 of the Quran, I've always said this, that this Quran is a clear Quran. So if it's clear, it should be relevant. Otherwise, your God has put irrelevant things in this Quran, which makes no sense. It's relevant to us. It might be relevant to someone else. Who would it be relevant to? Relevant to? I don't know. Only God knows. So you're saying it's relevant to somebody, but nobody knows but God, and nobody for hundreds of years have ever said that they know this verse. Well, it's got to be relevant, otherwise it's not going to be in there. It's not relevant to us, but somewhere during this timeline... But, but your God said he revealed this to, to, to Muhammad over loads of times. This was revealed to Muhammad over loads of times. That's what it says. It says that angel said these things. revealed, but it's also said in the Quran. What was the passage that you were debating, the one that says that even unbelief comes from... Muhammad? Yeah, Surah 10, 100. So basically, the, the verse here, basically, is mentioning a person, according to you, right? A person that nobody knows, nobody has seen, nobody's ever heard of, but somehow God knows and we should just trust it. That's kind of the same thing. The Quran mentions Jesus, Moses, it's the same thing. No, but so it, how do we know they really But the Quran also, the Quran also mentions other books. It mentions the books of the Old Testament and the New Testament. So it's mentioning other books. But with Abu Lahab, nothing is mentioned. Nobody knows Abu Lahab. For example, why is Abu Lahab, why is his wife, like, why will his wife the carrier of, be the carrier of the Quran, kill it, kill it, sorry. As I said, it's not relevant to our time. But it clearly is because your God sent it down. Why would your God send down irrelevant things? In the book, it said it, like, until a certain point, not everything will be understood. It's like, it's clear to people with knowledge. So what you're saying is that your God sent down irrelevant things and nobody on the earth with any it's knowledge knows. It's not relevant, it's uh, my problem is, if we're going to be consistent, right, if we're going to be consistent, right, then you have to reject this book because you've got to send down incoherent things that make no sense, that don't benefit anybody. It's incoherent because it doesn't benefit. It says Surah 10, 100. That's, that's the one I've got. Either way, I think so, but, so, but basically, I want, I want to go to this verse with you. So this is Surah 10, 100. So I'm going to prove that Allah is Satan, right? from this verse, right? It is not for any soul to believe saved by the permission of Allah. So nobody can believe saved by the permission of Allah. He have set on cleanliness on those who have no sense. Now ask me this, how can anybody have sense of Allah if he has willed it that nobody believes in Allah? In a Muslim's belief, everything is predetermined. So no matter what you do, whether you do good or bad, it's Allah's will. Right. So in that pretext, yeah, that's right. So why does he say here, and I, I want to get the verse up again. Why does he say here about Satan, yeah? And this is what this is what he says. He says about Satan in Surah 38, 82 to 83, he says, Satan, sa Satan himself says he will lead astray all men. But how can Satan lead astray all men if it's Allah that has predestined all men to go into position. Satan says he will lead us all men. That's not a hundred percent. Do we worship Satan and saying everything he says is true? It's not God saying that yes, Satan will control all men. It's Satan saying. So what you're saying is they they don't have equal share in that sense. It's, it's, it's Satan saying that he could do this, but he's not Satan, actually being truthful Satan about it. Can lie. 
according to what we believe. But say it, can Satan mislead? Yeah. But how can he mislead if Allah has put it? Allah has put as preordained people to be misled and led away from his song. How can he mislead? How have you got free? You just said everything's preordained. Everything's preordained. Pre pre it's like, God knows what you're going to do. He's the one that's made it possible to happen. But you've got a choice on... Like, no, you don't. Allah says it's by his will, you believe. It's by his will, not yours. Yeah, but he also says somewhere in there, I don't know exactly where, but we have free will. We have so this, is, this is from... So this is from... And I'm going to prove to you that this proves that Allah is Satan. I don't think that really proves Allah is Satan. Well, it does, because Satan is doing the same thing to Allah. Think about it. If Allah, Allah says that Satan will misguide all people, or Satan says it will misguide all people, and Allah is the one who's misguiding all people, therefore they have to be the same person. Because he's the one leading people non to Islam. If Islam is a true religion, a court, no, no, listen to what I'm saying. You've already proven that, that, that he ordains people. You've already proven that God preordains people according to your religion, bro. You've already proven that. So don't get it twisted. You've already proven he did that. So if he does that, then he is the one causing people to mis be misled. He has to be. No, it's not the same thing. Because your God is claiming, believe in me and you'll be saved through through Islam, right? If you follow this, how can he say that to anybody? And what's the point of this book, right? What is the point of it? If no, no, what's the point of this book? If Allah has you to be a heathen and a pagan. Let's put it like this. What's the point in even existing if we if we don't have free will? You believe God's all powerful. He knows everything. So it's the same thing. What was the point in creating us? He knows what's going to happen. He knows what's going to happen. Uh, what we're going to do. What's the point? It's like, it's a test at the end of the day. Yeah, but having knowledge. But having knowledge does not mean you predetermine what people a person does. Uh, I can have knowledge of what a puppet does, uh, 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 but I may not be controlling that puppet. Uh, it's like... It's like you... Okay, so I'm going to show you this last verse and then we'll call it a day there because obviously we're talking about... Okay, so th this verse says that Allah sends Satan to entice the infidel. This is Surah 1983 and I'll, I'll read it out to you. I, I want you to stand to us. I don't want you to follow this because this religion is of Satan bro, and you've fallen into the dark recesses of Satan. That's why I'm going the Bible wasn't... Sorry, sorry, bro, sorry. Uh, it's, to move it. it's the only religion that's got science back in it. So, nothing else... Well, I, we we can talk about science another time. I just want to get to this because but obviously... Very, and very I, I don't believe it does because if you're going to say the sun sets in Monday pool of water, you're not a scientist. No, no, that's one translation. That's what do you mean it's one translation? It's all of them. Dulkar name went to the place where the, the, the sun sets. And are you Arabic? No, I'm not Arabic. An Arabic Christian named Christian Prince has found out that that's what it says. So, I mean, you can go to him, go to his channel, go to Christian Prince, you find out what he says. If you, if, if you really don't, if you don't believe me. But the fact is, that's what your God says in his words. So it's like, if that's scientific, mate, you've got a problem. So that was my There's a verse in the Quran that says that Dulkar Nain's going to go and witness the sunset. Well, I don't want to go off topic because I was trying to stay within this. So I'm going to go to... Because that is the thing. I don't want to go off topic because I've, I've got to remember to stay on topic. We'll talk about that another time, bro. Don't worry. Um, so this is 1983. Seest thou that we, so this is Allah speaking, have set the devils on disbelievers to confound them with confusion. So it's Allah himself who sets devils on the disbelievers to confound them with confusion. So it's him, remember we've already agreed that he predestinates all things, right? So if he predestinates, he's the one who orders evil on unbelievers and orders them to be confused. What is the concept of evil? Like, like, who makes evil? God. Who makes all? No, God. God is the absence of no, no. If God is the absence of We would have no sense of evil. God is the absence of evil. So, so God is essentially all good, and evil is right, is moved away from good. So, if you do the opposite of God, then you are doing evil. Evil is not a substance. It's only what we define as good. Evil is not a substance. Evil is not a substance. There is no substance of evil. Like evil is morality. For example, like rape. Like, listen to what I'm saying. Let me, let me let me just give you something. Raping somebody is wrong. And let me speak loud. Raping somebody is wrong, right? But having sex with somebody in a marriage is right, right? You're both doing the same thing. Now, what's wrong with rape? No, there's, there's an injured party. There's, no there's an injured party, and you're doing against what it was, what's God's all danger. But no, it's morally wrong. What's morally wrong? And exactly, what is morally wrong? Everything that God doesn't want us to do. What's God instilled in us? If, if God didn't instill morals in us, we're like an animal. An animal will kill another animal and feel nothing about it. Yeah, nobody's God denying God didn't instill morals in us. But God has given him. He is the true perfect Im image of goodness, right? And if we don't do what he does, we are doing the bad. 
we're not doing what God does, we're doing what God orders us to do. Yeah, but what is, so you're saying that God is not good? Huh? Are you saying that God is I'm not good? God is just a guy that made everything. You can't say he's good or bad, because he made Why good Why can't you say he's good or bad? Because he made good, he made but, bad. So, so you're, can evil exist on its own? Can evil exist on its own? Because I want to get into more metaphysical. No. So, e so evil can't, why they're can't both, it exist? Because there has to be good for evil. Can, uh, does there have to be evil for there to be good? Think about it. Does there have to be evil for there to be good? No, no. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. The, 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 the absence of good of, of good is evil, right? But the absence of evil, if there it, so if there was no if there was no evil, right, there would always be good. But if there was no good, right, there would be nothing. You see what I'm saying? E good is foundational. It is the basis of all morality. Because if there is no good, right. then technically there is no, like, evil can still exist. No, it can't. Huh? Because, it can't. Like, the good is like giving to charity, helping right. someone. Right. Evil is harming someone. You can live in a world where no one helps no one. Yeah, but you wouldn't know whether it was bad or good. Yeah. You wouldn't know that. Well, let's say we're, we're, we're in a world where morals, morals do exist, but no one gives a we would still kind of know, like, yeah, like, you can't kill someone, but no, like, morally you know it's wrong to kill someone. But no one wants yeah, to but you have to ask yourself, why would it be morally wrong to kill someone? Why? That's what I was saying at the start. Good and evil, they don't exist. They but what I'm saying is that evil itself is not a primary function. It can't exist on its own. Evil has to have a foundation. Evil is always the privation of good. For example, if I if I wanted to, let's say, have sex with a woman, right? And I think she's beautiful, right? And I went up to her and raped her. That's evil. You know why? Because the good thing would be to meet up, to have a conversation, to marry, and then to initiate a story. The reason why it would be, not, not just normal, the reason why it would be is because these moral actions are based on the idea that we are images of God and God is sovereign. That's why it's, that's why God is good. Because we are the image of God. I don't believe the image of God and all that. Yeah, I know you don't believe that. What, what I'm saying is that's come from my view. But what your God is saying, yeah, is that he causes evil and, and confusion to be on people who disbelieve, not of their own free will, but of what he willed them to believe. And that's a problem. That means your God is Satan. Perfect. What would he say is Satan? Okay, so let me, let me show you what God says about Satan. Let me show you what God says about Satan. This is what it says, James 1, 13 to 14. I want to go on and I want you to think about this, right? God cannot be tempted by evil, so God cannot be tempted. Neither does he tempt people. He doesn't tempt anybody. God doesn't tempt anybody. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away and enticed. Our God has given human beings free will. Your God has said, you do not have free will. I will whoever I want to. Bro, what's going on? What's going on? Are you good? Come on. I've lost three of that. Bro, bro, uncle. I don't like that. Oh, stick his fingers in the man's face, bro. Yeah. I don't know what's going on, but I'm not hearing yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Three dots, three dots, three dots, three dots. Just leave it. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. Shame on you. 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 Shame Three daughter of Allah. So Allah has three daughters. Anyway, as, as I've proved, as I've shown you, and I hope, I hope you get this message clearly, right? Because I just want to end this. It's been a bit too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on and drag on for a while. Yeah. So, so basically, it's this, right? If your God has preordained all functions of reality, including evil or what evil man commits, then rape, murder, all these things cannot be wrong under his own paradigm because he's caused them to happen. If he has caused them to happen, then he is the tempter. And if he's the tempter, then he's Satan. To him, there's no right and wrong. So let's think, in my opinion, to him there's no right and wrong, so there's no good and evil. But that, that, so that means is, your God is absent, he doesn't care about who you find. He has no morality. Why would the creator, uh, if I made a car, and if I make thousands of cars, right. why do I just care about this car? It's a creation. I've made it to do its job. Is the car made in the image of God? Because that's what we believe. We believe that, that, that humankind is made in the image of God. Is your car made in your image? No, it isn't. It's a separate image from you. What? We don't have an image of God, so we can't, we can't imagine what God But, but what you're doing is, is you're imposing an impersonal, atheistic, and it sounds atheistic, God, that doesn't care about creation, that just creates what it wills and doesn't care. That's just like... That's just, that's just, 
that's just logic in a sort of sense. It's like I don't think it's if something has created something, it's of not like we have not he don't need us to sustain us. No, but that's he not my argument. My argument is that not he doesn't need us. My argument is is that he is he, he being a good person. If if, if that if that if God created, is gonna be a good example and it's gonna be a personal God yeah. who loves us and wants us to be saved, right? What use would he have to create beings, right? We're in his own image, right? What would you we have to do that if he was just going to pre-day all day what was going to happen to us? What's the point of creating us? What's the point? I said that earlier though, didn't I? It's exactly what you said. What's the point in all of this? No, it, under your God paradigm, there's no point. There's no point of Allah creating us. This is why I'm saying you need to turn to Jesus Christ, who is the Lord, the Lord and Savior. I'm not going to lie to you. Our God said in James, right? He does not tempt anyone. No, it's the same one. It's the same one. Your God says in Surah 9 30 that anybody believes in, may, they, may anybody that believes that Jesus is the Son of God, let them be accursed or destroyed. How can anyone prove he's the Son of God? The Bible says he is. The Bible's been changed and proven to be changed multiple times. Well, this is another thing completely. But what, what I'm, all I'm saying is this, bro. The it's fact like, is, can you, prove you the can, Bible but you cannot God. prove from your Quran that the same Quran, that, the same Quran that was in Basra, that was in Fatah, that was in Damascus, the same Quran from back then is the one. No, you can't prove that. You have the nineteen, the, the house 1924 Quran. You have that. That's the Quran you read. You don't read the, trans, the original translation, so you don't have it. All you have is dudes telling you stuff, bro. Yeah, but this, I'm, I'm gonna go completely off topic from there, okay? Yeah, I, well, you want it to get into Texas no, transmission? No, 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 I'm on about where is it. If I end up getting it, we'll be here for but ages. All, all I'm saying is that I'm, like, I'm just going to teach you the gospel because you need to hear it. You need to understand that Christ died and rose again for your sins, right? I believe in Jesus. He's a personal God. Allah, Allah, Allah is not personal. Allah doesn't care about you. But our God what took on the Allah flesh mean? of man. What does Allah mean? I know what Allah means. It means God. It means the God. It's a title. It's the Almighty. No, no, yeah. but you're, you're not hearing me. It's a title. Just like Mr. Mr. is a title, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Right? right? Everybody can call, call Mr. God, but there's only the God, but there's right? only one Mr, isn't it? Then who's Jesus? How are you getting three out of one? You're, you're going to other topics. Oh, what, what I want you to know is focus on what I'm saying. Don't go, because you're going to jump and jump. No, 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 how can three be one and all this stuff? If you read the Bible, bro, you'll be able to read the Bible. I'm saying this because you're trying to turn me towards the Bible when I, there's so many so many errors, so many things to prove. You believe they're errors, no, 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 but you have not proven no, no, them. No, there's proof. There's no proof you can pull and say, that. You can't say the Bible is 100% perfect because throughout its time... And I can say God's sovereign your day. Just like you, your Quran says that Allah will protect his word in chapter 18 of the Quran, yeah. correct? Yeah. So why, why do you then impose... No, no, you can't prove it. You can't yeah. prove it. You can't. <laughs> Are you doing... <laughs> <laughs> the book from start to finish is mathematically coded. That's what, that's what should be our lease. It is. Someone run it through a computer in the 70s and found some mad shit. So someone run a computer through the Quran in the 70s, therefore is, I mean, come on, bro. Right. Do logical things. It's specifically thinking. mentioned in the Quran, the number bro, that it correlates the whole thing. I've shown you continuously, from right. Dulkarnay to Abu Halahab, to the problem of evil in your Quran, I've shown that your God is inconsistent. And you're telling me the reason why you believe it is because of some number. Numbers can prove anything. Numbers bro, don't lie. I feel if that you've been I feel that you've been misled completely. Yeah. Because our God is, is personal. He's not impersonal. He doesn't hate humankind. He loves you and he cares about you and he wants you to have union with him. He hates evil, he hates sin, but so do you. If somebody's to go to your house and rape your mother, you would hate it as well. God hates evil because he's a just God. But the fact is he sent his only God to to die for your sins. And the fact is, our God is free in one because he's beautiful, because he's different, because he's special, he's nothing like us. Why do we need to repent? He's already repented for us. That's no, no, his, the repentance thing is, the reason why we repent is because we are still under the nature and the sin of Adam, right? We are still under that nature. Until we die, we're not going to be, we're not, we're not going to be able to move with him. Plus, if you don't repent and turn to Christ, right, he hasn't died for your, your sins, not in that sense. He's died for the sins of those who believe on him. In that sense, he's died for every sin. This is another liar. He's died for your sin. I want to put this before on YouTube. This is another liar. All Christians are liars and deceivers. Hey, bro, could you go away, please? This is another liar. We were having a conversation. I don't you care what you, what you're having. Go back to Croydon. I, you're I don't care what you're doing. Go this away. Is like not to Croydon. Bro, bro, all Christians are brainwashed. They can't speak the truth. Yeah, we're ending. Can you look here? Are you really studying? Read book control. Do you want a copy of the book of John? Fake Christian! Everything's on the internet. Can you lose? Well, what you do is read Can that and then lose? come back to me. Ask me the question. Yeah. Right. Can you Take lose? Care. Yeah, so I just had a, uh, a decent Muslim a decent conversation with a Muslim man. Where, um, we, we spoke about um, the deity of Christ. We were talking about the contradiction of the Quran. 
towards the corner where Abu Lahab, for example, nobody knows what he is without the sinner. Nobody knows who Dukan Ain is without the sinner. And also the problem of evil in the Quran, which is a deeply problematic problem. To say that their God preordains all violence and wickedness and all unbelievers to fall into sin and uh, to fall into error. And I think there's a problem according to the belief. Sorry. We had, we had a good conversation. We spoke about different differences in the Quran, differences in various hadiths and stuff like that. And um, we just generally got down to the, the to God and his, uh, his idea of being, whether it's evil, whether it's good, their interpretation is obviously very Calvinistic. I'm not attacking, I'm not attacking Calvinists, by the way, for any reason to talk But yeah, I, I think honestly, Muslims, you should turn to Christ. You should come out of that demonic religion. Their God tempt, your God tempts people. And he, and he literally tempts people to sin. But, uh, anyway. We'll end it here, because I keep jabbing on. Right. Yeah, yeah, I've said enough.